for what's it, can you tell us what an ecosystem is? It is all the living and non-living thing, animals or plants interacting with each other. Very good. Kramer, tell me a little bit about the desert. The desert is a hot, dry place with very little um, plants, and it, when the the plants have to sur have lots of water inside of them to survive, and it doesn't rain that much. But when it does rain, it rains a lot. Okay, very good. James, tell me a little bit about the tundra. The tundra is very cold, and it has um, lots of animals, like the reindeer, muskox, arctic fox, arctic wolf, and snowies. Mm -hmm. are, are there very many plants there? No, not a lot of plants. And um, the few plants there are, they have really shallow roots. Very good job. Nice work. Why do they have tough shallow roots? Why can't they grow Cause, deep down uh, into the ground? Because um, the ground is frozen. What else, Adriana? Another word for the ground is frozen is permafrost. And some animals that live there are the muskox and the reindeer. Very good. What are some of the things you want to tell me about the tundra, Lily? Can you tell me about any other animals that live there? Okay, so tell me about the Arctic hare. Lawson, tell me a little bit about the um, rain, about the grasslands, I'm sorry. Um, there are a lot of animals like the rock, rock python, deer, prairie dogs, and giraffes, um, and the osea tree. Okay. And, okay. Oh. Cole, what do you know about the grasslands? Well, I know that rock python can swallow things up to as big as a antelope. Um, what, it, what is the weather like in the grasslands? It's usually pretty dry. Mm -hmm. They sometimes have rain. Can y'all think of other words that people sometimes call grasslands? Um, Prairie. Prairie, very good. And there's one more I'm thinking of. Rain. It could be a range. Some, you're close. So, so no, Savannah. Savannah. That's right, Alice. Good job. I guess if they had not tried to answer for you, you probably could have come up with that right. <laughs> um, anything else you want to add about the grasslands, Rebel Orange? Uh, this African grasslands and this grasslands in different places. And people are hurting the grasslands because they're cutting down trees. Sophie, tell me a little bit about the rainforest. Um, it's very rainy and hot there, and it has lots of, of trees and lots of sorts of animals that we don't have here. Very good. Is there anything else you can add to that, Jordan? Um, well, you don't want to cut it down because medicines and food comes from there, and we won't have that if they cut it down. That's right. There. Do you know? Okay, who can tell me what an adaptation is? An adaptation. Alexandra. An adaptation is, is something that animals over time gets like cancer. Mm -hmm. And why do they why do they have these adaptations? To survive their envir environment. To better survive their environment. Very good. What's another one besides camouflage, Adriana? Um like they grow like feathers. They might grow thick feathers or fur if it's really cold. Where's, a, where's one of the ecosystems that's really cold that they might need that? The tundra. The tundra, that's right. Um, what about, um, what are some other adaptations? Anyone else name some more? Elisa? Behavioral adaptations. Great, there are some behavioral adaptations. The ones you have named before are physical. What are some behavioral adaptations? Can you think of one, Elisa? Um, 
They hibernate. Hibernation. Very good. Hibernation. Can anybody think of another one? Ty? Like, um, if they have claws to climb up trees. That's a physical one, but can you think of another behavioral uh, behavioral adaptation? If they, um, get fatter. Yes, they might so that they could hibernate, definitely. But they might eat a whole lot more. That would be a behavioral adaptation. There's one more um, behavioral that I'm really thinking of. Cole? It is migrating. Migration. And what does migration mean? It's James, what does migration mean? Migration means when they um, move to go somewhere warmer. Well, right, right, where they they move as a group. It's not just a couple of couple of them going, right? Like the reindeer. Yes. They travel for thousands and thousands of miles from like Canada to Alaska. They start out in the tundra. Okay, who can tell me what a producer is? What's a producer? It's um, a plant and it's makes its own food. It produces its own food. Very good. What is a consumer? What is a consumer, Sophie? An animal that eats another animal. A consumer is an animal that consumes another animal. It eats it and that's how it gets its energy, right? It could be a human. It could be a human. Yes, we actually are consumers. We do. We consume plants and animals yeah. and we are. That's right. What about a decomposer? We're not decomposers. Who can tell me what a decomposer is? James, what's a decomposer? Um, a decomposer is something that use, that eats um, dead um, animals. Very good. It breaks down dead plants and animals. And so, what does that do to the soil? Why does that help the whole pla um, life cycle and plant cycle? Um, because they help make the soil better. They do. They add nutrients to the soil, and that helps the plants grow better. And so then, when that little bunny rabbit hops along and eats <laughs> the plant, it's healthier, right? Okay. Who can tell me what an herbivore is? What kind of what's an herbivore? An herbivore is an animal that eats plants. Eats only plants. Very good. And so, what's a carnivore? Rachel. An animal that only eats meat. Very good. And what is an omnivore? An omnivore, Adriana. An omnivore is, is an animal that eats both plants and animals. Okay, who can tell me what a predator is? Ooh. Mia? A predator is something that eats other animals, like kills, killing and hunting down other animals. Okay, and then what is prey? Kramer, what's prey? It's the animal that's hunted. The animal that's hunted. Very good. <laughs>